Hey everyone, Ezor here, just playing some more Bastion for you today. I'm gonna keep going with the story. Uh, today, where am I at? Cinderbrook Fort, Pith Orchard. I'm gonna do Cinderbrook Fort. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. There's only one way in the Cinderbrook. The hard way. Cinder brick fort. Cinder brick fort. Uh. Sure, the city marshals may be gone, but now the fort's crawling with windbags. Crawling with windbags. I think that's more so they're flying with windbags, but whatever. That was a hole. Uh. And fell to my death. Reload. The gravity was mercy. Yeah. The wind bags ain't so lucky. Going up here. Barrels. Oh, oh Jesus. Why? 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 to freeze, or starve, or face the kid. Oh. No. No. Oh, whoa, what hit me there? Something just did not enjoy me at all. That was not cool, man. Not cool. Jeez, that guy hurts really bad. I think the windbags don't know. Kids fresh out of health tonics. Windbags ain't much different from normal folks. All they want's a warm place to stay and a decent meal. Scrap musket. Oh, it's like a shotgun. Shoot. 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 Oh, jeez. Shoot. Thank you. The calamity drove the windbags topside. A lot of them wound up here in this very fort. Oh, those hurt really bad. I'm gonna try going the other way because I was editing some of the other videos. I realized there was a lot of spots where, yeah, like this, I could just run over here and gather things. Oop, oh, yep, oop, shooty boop, bop, 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 oop. Could have been minding the business underground like in the old days. Oh lord, those hurt. No. Whoa, okay, I fell in my death. Wanna keep the shotgun or should I switch it out? Uh, I'ma switch I'm a, I'm a keep it. Cinderbrick gave him enough heat and metal to munch on for a while. Ford ain't theirs by right. Can't blame them for wanting it, though. No. No. 
goals are so many of those sorry things hold up inside that old fort. Buttons. Oh, that's a guy. That's a guy. That's bad. I suppose I could have got rid of the hammer and done something different there. Jeez. Put the kid on notice. They hurt so freaking bad. As he presses on the higher ground. So what I do is just freaking keep defending, Jesus. Oh, I leveled up. Imagine that. Don't do it, don't. I asked you not to do that. You all saw it, self defense. Oh, wow, that really fires. Oh. Help, I'm trapped. Then they bring out Glutus and Glantus and all their scumbag uncles. No. They got something to gain, and only their sorry hides. Jesus. Anything else you guys want to throw at me? Grenades, though. Grenades are nice. Oh, give me the muddies. Kid used to dream of getting a marshal's badge, but not like this. Not like this. That's everything over here. The sky weighs a lump of sight after all that. Ah. Ain't nothing left for nobody down at Cinderbrook Fort. Mm. He shows up just as Zolf's telling me about his own journey to the city. The marshals seem like good men, he says. They treated him with dignity. Zolf brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. Huh? 
Even since the Ura surrendered to us, the Marshals kept a wary eye on him. Zolf's travels ain't much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. The lost and found. Here, kid takes fragments of the old world and makes Oh, that's right. That's things that I've missed. I think I actually want the Bastion Bourbon. All it takes is some fragments, and the Bastion makes it good as new. I want all those. I don't care if I want them now or if I want them later, but I want them all. Oh, hey! Look at that one. Seems the only thing the calamity saved for Zolf was a smoking pipe. With his smoking pipe. We all lost loved ones in the calamity, he says. I don't know how I'm gonna go on without mine. <laughs> I tried to let the kid down gently. This is the Bastion, alright. Except no one else showed up. He's the Bastion, alright, but no one else showed up. Well, that sucks. Oh, hey, there you go. 50% rage, minus 50% spread. Spread and range. I think that's what I'm going to want. You want to tune a scrap musket, you start with a barrel. Sharp, I'm going to want. War machetes are so quick, you got to keep a good grip on them. Alright, that's all I can do, apparently. Oh, what are you? Oh, that's right, fashion bourbon. This idea. It collapses after just one drag. Yeah. The past. Only good thing ever come out of the past is history. Only good thing. Actually made a lot of sense. One of those, like, fake, deep uh, quotes or whatever, where you're like, uh, it, sound it really is deep, you know, you really think about it, but it's like, well, yeah, it's just obvious. Don't. Don't. Thank you. The past catches up with a kid. Hardly had a moment's rest since all this started. sleep. No. He never knew his old man, but he had his mama to take care of. Frail thing with pure white hair like his. So I gotta do one thing. There. Having his mom 
was heir to the kid in old favors while he was growing up. But he learned to hold his own out there. Yeah, that stuff hurts for no reason. School ain't working out, so the kid signs up for a turn on the rippling walls. Make his mama some money. Thanks to folks like the kid, the walls kept Ceylonia safe from whatever's out there. The elements, the earth, yeah. you name it. I think I gotta get something else in the shotgun. The shotgun is not good. Once the kid done his time, he hurried on home. Turns out his mama's time was done too. Sending home was nowhere to be found either. That shotgun, though. My favorite part, but it's a lot of narration, so that's why I'm not saying much. In the history of Ceylandia, nobody has ever volunteered for a second shift on the walls. They trusted him to scout out farther than anybody. Hear that? I'm trusted. Oh, and I fell to my death. Maybe I shouldn't be trusted. Nothing where the world used to be. The calamity happened 
just like that. Just like that, calamity happened. Ah, just like that, fell through a All the kid had to work with was his hammer and the clothes on his back. Twisted streets, he ran with nothing but the city crest and an old stranger's voice to guide him. An old stranger's voice. Well, hello, stranger. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is a lot of dudes. Well then, let's just fall to my death. You are all very annoying. Oh, you're not dead. Well, he finally arrived at Ceylonia's vaunted safe haven. He and no one else. The hell, I was blocking it all. Oh my god, really? No. I'm freaking just stay back here, shocking them all to death. Ah, oh, they're killing each other. Oh, that makes sense. What up? And I fail. Gray hair, the great. What more is there to say? Sure, I may be the one who dreamt up the walls and the bastion, but the kid made him real. Not me. Whoa! What the heck is that? Say I'll never forget him or what he's doing, what he's done. I surely would. That was a fun little thing. Cool. Well, with that, I think I'm gonna have to call it because it's gonna be a little bit longer episode. So, hopefully, you like that little uh, narration. Sorry, I didn't say much, but this game's narrator is so informative anyway that I figure might as well just let him talk for most of it so 
Hope you guys liked it. If you did, go ahead and leave me a like, comment down below, um, everything like that. So don't forget to subscribe if you like everything. I do a lot of achievement videos and a lot of Let's Plays. So thanks for watching, and see you next time.